morning or wherever you are in the world it's morning here and um, I really want to uh, record my morning beauty routine for you um, I've wanted to do it for a while and I'm very passionate about sharing um, natural non-toxic non-chemical um, skincare beauty care um, anything really that is good for your body so um, I have now found quite a, like a sturdy um, routine that I kind of follow and I love it and my skin is very happy and um, yeah I've tried lots of different things so um, I thought I would share what works for me um, so I have been blessed with very sensitive skin <laughs> Um, and I say blessed because if I hadn't, I probably maybe wouldn't have come to natural, non-toxic skincare. So I'm really glad that it led me to um, trying natural, um, as you know, sensitive skincare um, with no alcohol or anything. Um, I mean, a lot of the natural products can still contain alcohol. Um, my skin doesn't like that so it likes really as pure as possible with essential oils and anyway so I'll share um, some products that I love okay I've got like a whole um, collection down here so first of all I just wanted to say body brushing is the way forward so I do this um, if I said every morning I'd be lying but I try <laughs> to do it every morning um, I'm really trying to get it back into my routine. I was really good for ages. Um, so basically, you brush from um, your from your feet upwards in a towards your um, the word is eluding me now. So you brush up your body like in long straight motions like that, and it helps get the limp moving, you go to your armpits, not your feet, and I might do another video um, showing how I do this one, that's the whole video in itself, but this one, I think this is from the Body Shop, this brush, and it's lasted quite well, I have asked one, a new one for Christmas, um, okay, so I actually just recently dyed my hair as well, um, on other videos you might have seen it's a lighter kind of brown, um, so I wanted to go a bit darker for Christmas and um, it's a good contrast with the red lips and dark hair. So I found, I used to use Henna Lush, um, Lush sorry, Lush is Henna, so the company Lush I used to use their Henna. Um, but I found out it wasn't actually as natural as I thought. Um, Henna's very natural but they add stuff to it. so. A bit disappointed with that but then I um, I had a good recommendation um, on I think it was Miss Eco Glam's website which is really good you should check it out and she recommended this henna treatment um, I don't know how, is it Surya Brazil hen, henna and this is a cream um, that you just put and brush well you know you don't brush it for your head you kind of bring it down with gloves on because it'll stain. Um, but this is a henna treatment, so it's not permanent. Um, they said it'll last between 10 to 15 washes. Um, mm -hmm. I wash my hair about twice a week, and I think, I don't know how many times I've washed it so far, about maybe three times so far. And it seems to have kept the colour really well, so I'm really happy with it. And it was so shiny and it's really conditioned since I've done it as well. Um, this has got amazing ingredients in it. Um, I think it's got like loads and loads and loads of different superfoods that just nourish the hair. So that's really good and it's non-toxic and you want to use non-toxic things on your head seeing as it goes into your bloodstream and how close it is to your brain. I don't think you want to be ingesting heavy metals into your head up and so that's another good thing that I use and another so my um, oh yeah 
So I didn't paint my nails for ages when I first kind of went on my um, on my health journey. But I have found some that are really lovely colours and they have um, a lot of the toxins taken out. So we've, this is Soyo, this make, and they're the three colours I went for, very Christmassy. Um, yeah, and basically I found them really good for um, as natural as you can get nail varnishes, um, so I recommend those. Okay, for perfume I wear uh, this. It's actually a um, an essence spray, so it's made from um, gem and um, like flower essences and essential oils. And this one is um, Soul Support um, for it's spray to bring strength, focus, and stability um, in any transformative experience. So it's, oh, it smells so good as well. And I just sometimes spray this on um, before meditation um, or just before yoga. And in the morning, it's just like a breath of fresh air. So I really recommend that. This one's by Alaskan Essences. And um, for my makeup, I don't wear um, any um, foundation. Um, I haven't ever really. I've, I am pretty lazy with makeup, and also I don't really like my skin to feel like it can't breathe. So I just wear usually like um, a tinted lip gloss. Um, my favourites are by Living Libations. Um, this is Rose Glow, Love a Lip and um, Living Libations is just one of my favourite um, beauty skin, they've got everything and it's just, it's so beautiful, I love her stuff, um, I've got, I'll be going through lots more of her um, creations in a minute but they're just my favourite at the moment, I love them. Um, so I've got, this is my lip gloss, it's Rose Glow Lover Lips and the, the purity of these products are amazing, there is nothing in here, it, they're just so beautiful, um, if you try them you will understand. So it's Living Libations, uh, and this one, the label's come off, but this is a red tint, um, and I use it on my cheeks and my lips. Um, I've got like a mixture of the two on my lips at the moment. Um, so if I want it really dark, I wear this on its own and the two together kind of lightens it up. So that'll be my blusher as well, like a little bit here and here. Um, and my eyeliner, um, although I haven't got any on yet, um, Dr. Hoshka, another good natural um, company. And this one is dark brown. I wear that one and then I've got a mascara which is it's on its way out it's the Dr. Hoshka again and it's dark brown um, and it's really good it really conditions your eyelashes it doesn't irritate my eyes um, but it's yeah it's nearly gone I've had this for a trusty year I think or so um, I don't wear makeup all that often so it lasts quite a long time and it hasn't dried out Oh, so yeah, recommend that one as well. Okay, and oh, these are my um, eyeshadows, and I again don't wear makeup that often, so this lasted me maybe over a year. And this is Dr. Hoshka as well, and it's like a nice collection of browns, as you can see, this one was the favourite, <laughs> and that's gone now. But um, yeah, this is a really nice collection. Um, Dr. Hoshka and you, it feels really soft on your skin, doesn't irritate my eyes and again is natural. Mm -hmm.